I was gonna say morning, but it is 1.30. We just got back from church. Welcome to another week in my life. Also, I'm Grace, if you don't know. Welcome here. I feel like I never introduced myself. I am gonna make Roe some lunch right now. We basically spent the morning in the garden, which I already showed you. Then we had to go to Home Depot to pick up some more gravel. We went to church, and then I needed to just stop off at this is what I got. I at the, the drugstore to get this Flonase as a preemptive, I'm gonna use it as a preemptive treatment for my allergies. So I'm gonna put it in for two weeks, do um, one spray in each nose. And this is what I think is gonna make me not have to take reactant. Hey babes. So I'm gonna make Rui some lunch and then I'm gonna put on my gardening clothes and get out and spread some more gravel. Trevor's bringing it down for me, thank you, holy. Because those bags literally weigh like 60, almost 70 pounds. And it's a lot to carry it down the hill. Finished our pathways. All the wildflowers are in here and then I did a little one here so that they'll go up and create a little cutesy barrier at the pool fence. And then we just put this here and we need to figure out what we're gonna do here and create a path down to the actual pump. But this is gonna be a game changer to not have dirty feet every time we need to do the pool and also just keep the weeds away. Excited. So I have to water this and this for the next two weeks daily. And I think it's time to go make some frozen guava margaritas. Let's go. So we pre-froze our guava juice and then we can just add this all into the blender. And fingers crossed it does what we want it to do. Guava marks, here we go. Grab out your blender and throw in. I'm making just one for me and Trevor, so I'm gonna do all the two cubes. Okay, so I've thrown in some ice cubes. Now we need some lava. Juice from two limes. I just like to use a fork. I do a glug glug triple sec. Glug glug tequila. And let's see what happens. Let's go blend. A sugar and salt rim. Lime juice are cut. Beautiful. Ooh, they smell so good. I think I get it now. You work in the garden, you make yourself a bevy. Cheers. Oh, my one garden fell off. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Perfect. Very nice. Hey cuties, happy Monday. We have another farm boy haul. I kind of went wild in the produce section. As you can see, there's so much green going on, but there was just so much good stuff to choose from. First, I got some white mushrooms. I actually got a bunch of mushrooms, so I'm gonna make a ravioli, mushroom ravioli. I got some cilantro, I got some Italian parsley. I got these carrots because <laughs> I just loved this one. It's like twisty, can you see it? <gasps> I was obsessed with that. I also love just like a good old bunch of carrots. Some asparagus, a English cucumber, a dragon fruit, I also got a little thing of kumquats, which I've never had before, but they smell incredible. And I'm so excited. I follow someone on TikTok, Carmen in the Garden, and she's always sharing her kumquat recipes. And I'm like, I have to try. Two vine ripe tomatoes, an orange bell pepper, a yellow bell pepper, two lemons, two limes. I also got a pomelo. Whoop. It smells so good. Got some bananas, some baby carrots. They have these jumbo blueberries again, raspberries, strawberries, and these are the greenhouse ones, back to not being so bad. I think they were four bucks, and they had the ones there that were seven. Uh, blackberries. Oh, my other mushrooms. I got oyster mushrooms, and I got shiitake mushrooms, so I'm excited to make that ravioli. I got my favorite northern crunch, this one, and another, and the other one they have. I can't remember what it's called. Um, but this is my favorite lettuce mix. Hummy bunnies. A hammy melon. I tried this last year. I can't remember. I think it's like a cantaloupe meets a honeydew, taste-wise. And then I got some eggs. I got a big bunch of romaine. I got some Italian buns. I'm gonna make pepper, what are they called? Caesaronis. 
Someone, when I made my pepperoni um, English muffins last week on TikTok, someone's like, Grace, I have been seeing Caesaronis all day. You need to make those. It's like, what the heck? If I looked it up, I could literally only find one video about it, but I got the concept. It's like a Caesar, or it's like a pepperoni pizza sandwich with Caesar salad in it. So I'm going to try and make that. Sounds delicious. I got the lime flavored tortilla farm wood chips. Never had the lime ones before. I got just a little bit of... Um, sliced chicken because I wanted to make these like I have a bit of leftover hummus from last week so I wanted to make this little cracker snack I got a big giant parmesan which is good because we got we're making the Caesar salad and the ravioli some English muffins I got two types of coconut milk because this is what I wanted and have used before but then they also had something called coconut cream which is like a liquid and I'm very oh a great substitute for whipping cream I wonder if you can whip it. Perfect and see. I don't know what the difference is, except for this definitely is like liquid. And this has like, you know, the fat layer chunk and then the liquid. So I'm not sure, but I was intrigued. Um, what are these black beans? Two pairs for row. She asked for pairs. I got some for de latte, some cream, some corn. Female bacon, prosciutto, some whipping cream, and they only had 3% milk, so I had to get the whole milk, which is totally fine. And I also actually throw in here, I also went and stopped at Dollar Tree, and I went to go look for Trevor one of these. <laughs> Him and Rosie love these floss heads, so I got those ones. And then I also needed a head for my hose, so I just got a little head. And the reason I went for sure was to get these little fencing things because I want to go put that um, in on our pathway that we made it this weekend. I want to put this on the garden part just to separate the stones from like rolling in. We'll go do that now because me and Trevor are going to go for a lunch date in about an hour. So I have time to do that. Um, I bought Trevor three pairs of socks because he told me he didn't have any ankle socks and they have them there. And then I got Rose some gardening gloves. I got Trevor some gardening gloves because we only had, we could only find one this year so we were fighting over them. Actually, these might, now that I'm looking, I got him car ones because I was like, that's funny. Now I'm looking at it, they seem kind of small, but they're not as small as Rose. And then I got myself these plastic ones. I love the like rubber ones. I just like that the like burrs don't stick to them. And that's my grocery haul. So I'm gonna put this away, um, quickly throw on some grubbing around clothes and stick this in the ground. It rained yesterday, so hopefully that should be easy to stick in the ground. And hopefully I got enough and not too much. And then me and Trevor are gonna go for lunch. I think we're going for Caribbean, which I'm so excited. I could really go for some like jerk and beans and rice and plantain. And I hope they have festival. Mm -hmm. There's two places. There's one place that we've been to before, which is delicious, but there's a new, um, I guess things. There's a new food truck. I don't know if it's open. I should have. Oh, I didn't drive past it. I was like, I should check my drove past, but I didn't drive past it. So we'll see. But I'm excited. Happy Monday. And I'm so excited for dinner tonight because I'm going to make those Caesaronis. Okay, cuties. I put on my grubbing around clothes. It's so much colder today. And I'm going to try and put these sticks, these in. Oh, there's tags on them. Hopefully I can just rip them off. Oh, wait. Okay, I got these two in, kind of. I lined these up and I'm, I'm probably gonna need two more, maybe even three. So I'll have to go back and get a couple more. But honestly, it's so cold right now. And I just ate all that delicious food. I kind of just want to chill for a bit. <laughs> but I'm happy that, I am happy with the look of it. I need to also think of maybe another plan, another plan of how to get them in the ground. Oh, the geese are flying. Hey cuties, I was just throwing together my, my grocery shop with me TikTok. I just need to do the voiceover, but I like to do that separate. I like to put it together and then do the voiceover a little bit later, but it's that time of day. Trevor actually went to go pick up Ro, so I just get to enjoy coffee by myself. 
before Roe gets home, which sounds awesome. So I'm gonna turn this on, make some coffee, and let's pick our chocolate. I made a hot coffee. I think I'm gonna go sit out on the deck and just drink my hot coffee in like the cold weather. Cause that sounds like nice. <laughs> I don't know if that sounds nice to other people. But there's something about a hot coffee on a cold day. Oh, I don't know which one I should have. This one with the painting on it is pretty cool. What's that one? Salted hazelnut flake. Sounds good. Let's try. Cheers, cuties. Mmm, mmm. Ooh, it's got crispy salt throughout. I don't know what the flake is. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, that's yummy. It's got like a hazelnut ganache. And some flaky salt. Beautiful latte. Mmm. Perfection. I'm gonna enjoy this. And then we'll hang out with Rowan when she gets home. <laughs> Cutie poos, happy. What day is it today? Ooh, look at this frog. That looks good. Happy Tuesday. I just dropped Rowie off. Let's take a moment for this cream. Gorgeous. <laughs> I just dropped Rowie off. Oh, this is so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, I have to say this. It's for the podcast. I'm here to record the podcast. I haven't had a brown sugar shaken oat espresso. Oat? There's no oat in there. Brown sugar shaken espresso in so long. That was like my summer drink last year. Oh, and all I can say is I'm happy to have it here. I'm just cutting off a piece of this baguette we made last week. Oh, it still smells so good. And I'm going to honk a piece of cheese and a piece of meat on there. Because I only had, our neighbors brought by some muffins this morning. So I had some muffin. I haven't had anything else and I need some sustenance, not just coffee or else I'll go loco roco on the podcast. And then after I finish recording, I'm going to go pick up my mom and we're going to go get cutties. And I don't know, she usually has an idea of an errand she wants to run or something, so we'll probably do that. But I'm excited for this week's podcast because it's going to be all about just do just get started something that i struggle with is living in la la land and never 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 going after the things that i that i really want to go after but i had a i had an epiphany this past weekend because i finally started the yard work which i'm so happy about okay this is my sandwich <laughs> mm. Delight. Catch you guys in a bit. Second coffee. I just need something warm. It's so good. So I had my eye on one. No, I haven't. I didn't have any. I, I opened the box, but I didn't have any. Okay, which one did you have your eye on? Oh, that is only one of those. That one is, I think, a, it's something uh, different actually, than you think it's going to be, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. Then, it's a, him, oh no, it's a Himalayan pink salt caramel. Okay, that sounds good, but I know you like salted caramel, so if there was only one, then... These ones are my favorite. The so mango? Far, pardon? Is that mango? No, this one, this one. Yeah, that one's mango, but this one. Oh, that looks like some sort of caramel thing, yeah, too. Yeah, it's a caramel and chocolate and um, pecans. Okay. What doesn't say? Look at the back. Which one are you looking for? Oh. They give you the whole catalog. Oh, pecan caramel. Ooh, that sounds good. Yeah, it's like a turtle. Um, there's two of those. Oh, okay. This one has peanut butter. You wouldn't think it. I haven't had it yet, though. Where is that one? Oh, here. Peanut butter crunch. I think I'm gonna have this one. Okay. I'm gonna have this one. No, I'm gonna have this one. Oh, the one that only has one. Oh, wait, no. You can have it. Oh, okay. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Welcome. Finished doing YouTube, and that's all I have to do. 
Okay. Do we have anything that we want to watch together? I'm yeah. watching Love is Blind. Oh. So you don't want to hang out? Why? What do you want to watch? I don't know. Hang out. You can watch Love is Blind too. Morning cuties! Ah! <laughs> Morning cuties! We are just making our ravioli for tonight. I'm going to do a mushroom stuffed ravioli and then I'm also going to do a tiramisu stuffed one that I fry up and dip with whipped cream. I think that would be really fun. But anyways, I'm just starting to push the dough through our pasta roller and then I will lay out all our um, ravioli boops and then we can get them all stuffed up. But happy what is today? Happy Wednesday! It is sunny today, which is lovely, and Trevor's bringing us Wendy's for lunch, so I'm excited! Morning cuties, I just dropped Rowie off at school. It is Thursday, Trevor's in the office. I'm heading to a coffee shop. I have so much stuff I need to get done and I feel like I was so anxious yesterday, just like thinking about it. And anyways, I'm happy because I'm just gonna park myself, my little butt in a chair and work, work, work. I think I'm gonna get two food items right off the bat. I haven't had anything to eat today, but I think I'm gonna get a vanilla ice latte because I don't know if I've ever actually had that before and it sounds delicious. And then I think I want a cookie and then maybe something savory if they have a scone or something. Anyways, that's where we're at. And I'm ready to just get my list. Chuck, chuck, chuck. Okay, I got a chocolate chip cookie, a cheddar and onion scone, and then a vanilla latte. It looks really good. I have a few more hours telling me to pick up Ro. I'm feeling so much better because I got the big things out of the way. I need to work on the vlog, which is totally a relaxing thing now. I feel like editing the vlog is like a form of relaxation almost for me, um, especially when I have all my other work done. If I have other things in the way, then it's a little stressful. But anyways, I've come for a walk, get some fresh air after sitting for a few hours, and I'm gonna go, I think, sit by the water. It's nice out. It's a little bit windy, but it's not, it's like calm right now. So we'll see how long I last, unless my fingies get cold, but Ah, feels good to get some fresh air and to have that checklist just, you know, taken away. And I'm excited. Me and Rory are going to go for an early dinner tonight, which will be lovely. I'm crossing the road, which will be lovely. And I think we're going to go to this place called Kaiser House and they have lovely wine. So I might get a glass of wine as a little celebration for a wonderful day I had and our girls day since Trevor's in the office but we'll see we'll see what the rest of the day brings okay I'm glad the sun's out thankful for sun found a perfect bench to sit on and it's a little windy but honestly it's not that bad it's not that bad okay cuties I worked outside for a bit my iPad has officially died but I got so much stuff done also look how beautiful this house is Oh my gosh, it's like a fairy book. I'm literally walking under a fairy tale right now. What the heck? Anyways, I'm gonna go for a walk and then I will pick up Rowie. What was I gonna say? I don't even remember, but I'm just gonna go for a walk now and stretch my legs because I've literally been sitting all day. This one and these fish. Where are we? We are somewhere because we have the pot right next. <laughs> are we having dinner? Yes. What are we waiting for right now? I'm waiting for dessert with whipped cream. <gasps> dessert with whipped cream? Yeah, it's so nice and it's pita. Or a crepe. Cake. Crepe. <laughs> it's half pita, Bob. No, it looks like a pita, but it's a crepe. It's just a thing. <laughs> Good morning, cuties. Happy Starbucks. Morning, um, Martin needs to poo. 
Okay, Marshall needs to go to the bathroom. And I think I need a caffeinated drink today. Just a little one. Because I have... I need you to put... And Ro wants whipped cream so she can dip her apple chips in it. Yeah, and I'm, the, I'm gonna let you, 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 you do this. <laughs> okay, let's head in. Let's head in. Happy Friday! <laughs> Hi cuties, I just went to Pure Later because I need to pick up a package I missed. And it's Kit Kats. It's little Kit Kats. Kit Kat Pops. Anyways, fun. Fun PR. Thanks Kit Kat. You know, I love a Kit Kat. I wonder if you can eat the pops like you would eat a normal Kit Kat by each layer. Because that's my favorite way to eat Kit Kat. Anyways, I need to piece so bad. But I also need to go to the pool store because I didn't update you. But earlier this week, we had our pool reinforced. Um, the, like, company of the actual pool said that they needed to come and reinforce it or something. Anyway, so they came and did that. But they had to drain it and then do it. And then we have a bunch of leaves in the bottom. And before we fill it up again, because our pool's opening is in a couple weeks, May 1st. So before we fill it up again... We want to get all the leaves out, which is going to be perfect because it's way easier to get it out with like an inch of water. But we went to use our pool thing, opener, pool brush, cleaner, what is it? Pool net. And the thing cracked in half. To be fair, we put so much weight on this because long story short, if you've been here since the fall, you know that we had a really late pool closing. So we had lots of leaves that we had to clean out. But then the year prior... We half opened our pool. We didn't open it, but we like got it set up because we had construction going on in the backyard and got it filled to the appropriate part for the winter time, but it wasn't plumbed or like chemicalized or anything. And it just like sat open for the winter and had so many leaves and squirrels and things in it. So anyways, it was quite, we put a lot of work on our, <laughs> on our cleaning stick. So I need to go to the pool store and get a new one because we got to get that cleaned out so we can fill it up again to the appropriate height until we get it opened. Where does my phone? <laughs> I'm looking for my phone and you're right there, cutes. Anyways, so I'm trying to like wiggle myself into a position where I feel like I can hold my bladder so I can get to the pool store and then get home. Cause if I go home, I don't want to go back out cause I am going to start making dip dinner tonight. We're having pretzel balls. I'm going to make pretzel bites, corn salsa, queso all the good stuff but i want to start on the pretzel bites and the corn salsa this morning because it'll be better the corn salsa will be better if it sits and the pretzel bites i just want to get out of the way because i have a play date with ro later and then i can just throw dinner together i'm literally wiggling because i need to go to the bathroom so bad okay i don't know if anyone else ever struggles with these issues but i don't want to go home it's okay okay i've actually stopped at the outlets because i forgot they're across the street oh my gosh I just threw my hair in a clip and it's kind of going wild. Anyways, I'm stopping at the outlets. I can't remember if they open at 10, but it's like t 5 to 10. So hopefully they do because I really need to go to the bathroom. I do. I really need to go. Yes, I think they do. And also that would be amazing because I have been meaning to get some new underwear and maybe I'll stop and do that, which I totally, that's the only thing I need is underwear. Okay. <laughs> and if they have like a, but anyways, I'm gonna stop at Aerie, which is dangerous. Okay, but I'm going to the bathroom first. Cuties, we made it to the bathroom. I'm so happy about that. I can't tell if the stores are open or not. I'm gonna go pop over to Aerie because it's right here. And we'll see. I also have a coupon, I think, for like $10 off, which is amazing. I feel like I never get around to using my cash before it expires. Okay, I hope it's open. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to, I don't know what I'm trying to do. I'm filling up my tripod, as we all know, like a glass of water. Um, I'm just gonna get dinner finished up. I gotta make the queso, um, prep the veggies, and pop the pretzels in the oven. So I'll be turning the oven on. And then we'll just have some, oops, we'll have some dinner. Oh, I can't believe it's Friday. Looks like it's gonna rain. It's kind of dark. But I'm looking forward to kind of. I don't know if it'll be that relaxing of a weekend. I got lots of stuff to edit, but I'm looking forward to the weekend. We had such a busy morning. We needed to go to a meeting because we're doing our like official membership tomorrow at the new church. 
but then we're off to Trevor's parents for our belated Easter celebration. So hopefully I get a little bit of clips, but probably not too much. But I'm just saying thank you so much for coming along and joining this journey of this week. It's a rainy, gloomy day today, which is totally fine because the trees are becoming so red and so many buds and so spring is in the air, but we're heading out and there's a monster. Um, but we're heading out and packing up the car. So we'll see if I get any clips on my phone. If not, if not, that's not, that's it. That's true, that's how it is. Um, just make sure the backpack's close enough front with me, okay? Yeah. Okay, heading out, gooses. Love ya. Yeah.